From planning to production, on platforms from mobile to mainframe, continuous delivery from CA delivers the flexibility, functionality, and enterprise scale you need to win in the application economy. CA's complete end-to-end -end open and integrated ecosystem enables organizations to choose CA's best-of-breed software or use their tools of choice, leveraging a full suite of robust, out-of-the-box integrations. CA's ecosystem works with the most popular open source and commercial tools on the market. Let's take a look at the application delivery tool chain and integrations at each stage of the software lifecycle. We start with CA Agile Central, where business requirements and user stories are planned and prioritized. CA Agile Requirements Designer works with Agile Central to automatically define test cases according to the requirements to ensure the maximum code coverage with the minimum number of test cases. The test cases are then exported back into CA Agile Central and updated with the results as the release progresses. Ensuring complete code coverage while eliminating redundant tests eliminates one of the biggest bottlenecks to Agile application delivery. CA Continuous Delivery Director is CA's central hub for release management. We'll call it CDD for short. Here you have a holistic view of all the features, updates, and fixes in the release. You can plan and schedule multiple releases involving many apps, easily managing dependencies and resource conflicts. In the release workflow, we can see the applications being deployed and the user stories in the release. The pillars show each phase in the release, development through production, and all the tasks in each phase. These tasks can be automated or manual. The continuous delivery dashboard gives insight into releases throughout the organization and helps identify bottlenecks and areas for improvement. You can see how much of your tool chain you have automated, how much time is spent on releases, and how long releases spend in each environment. You can also see any long-running tasks and any pending tasks for the logged-in user. Now, let's run a release. We'll start with a build created in Jenkins. You can see the build number 302 here. That's the build number being automatically deployed here in CDD. You can see that we are automatically loading synthetically created test data through the integration with CA Test Data Manager to provide fit-for-purpose test data on demand. We're also deploying a virtual service by CA Service Virtualization and a Docker environment to run the tests. Let's take a look at the Docker environment. We've integrated Selenium tests and created a simulated environment to execute the tests needed. Tests are automatically run and results are posted into Agile Central. If the tests pass, the build can automatically be promoted to the next phase. Upon completion, we can also automatically deprovision the test environment. All the tasks in this phase are complete, so the build is promoted to the next phase. Now build 302 is in our QA environment. Here we have similar tasks, plus some additional testing, including CA Blaze Meter continuous performance testing. CDD makes it easy to repeat and standardize on release processes and adhere to testing SLAs organization-wide. Now let's get back to Agile Central. We can click into our results from the Blaze Meter tests. Everything passed. Once all the phases are complete, your application can be promoted into production. What you've seen is a truly open, flexible, end-to-end -end continuous delivery process that is integrated throughout the software delivery lifecycle to ensure the best speed, quality, and efficiency.